this shit, this shit. Free fresh, she leaving shit. Wait, she wanna fuck the day. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's Arby here. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to make that crazy build up slash kill effect. The only point you see have to have for this tutorial is the magic booth, looks points and the stuff points. I will link them all down below so you can download them absolutely for free. But other than that, drop a like, drop a sub and let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is to turn up the clip and sync it up with the music. If you don't know how to do that, I will link an amazing tutorial in the description. Then you need to go to the shot of impact, that's the first way we see the numbers appear, so for me it's right here, press the clip and press ctrl B, split right there, and then from the shot of impact you're gonna go 45 frames to the left, 45 right here, press ctrl B to split it, and now this clip in the middle, hold alt and drag two layers up, so like this. What you're gonna do then is we're gonna quickly add the color correction to the background. Basically go to the effects, drag in an adjustment clip and make it so this in the middle of these two clips and make it so it starts where the copy starts and ends where this clip ends. So like this. Now go to open effects and switch up the looks. Drag and drop it on adjustment clip and now we can need to import the look I dropped in the description in a Google Drive folder. Basically download it and how to import it is go to window search now here, search up percentage local app data percentage on the person this folder this should pop up find looks builder go to looks custom and basically just drop the look inside of here then you can close up and you don't even need to restart the video so now press the manager some clip go to effects press edit look and now in your custom you should find a brand new look called blue light race look but i have it in another folder but basically just press on it and press on the check mark. You will not be able to see it because this clip covers it. But what you can do now is hover over it, go to the Fusion tab, and in the same gold raffle as all the other times, you should find a preset called Clean Light Race Build Up RP. Basically, just drag that preset and drop it into the fear and connect it. Like this. As you see, it looks pretty fire. You can play around with the settings if you want, so you can change the the color of the light rays if you want, just press it and change the color right here, maybe you want it to be something like this, but I will leave everything as it is, but basically now go back to edit tab, and then go to the color tab. What you're gonna, what you're gonna do inside of here is go to the circle with four dots on it, press on it, and then press on this circle. This should show, this should appear, go to nodes, if you don't see just press on it, right click anywhere, press add alpha output and connect it. And you'll see that it becomes kind of transparent. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna kind of form it as an oval, so like this, and make it smaller, and make it so it is on the character, so it kind of covers the whole character. So I think this looks pretty good. If you want, you can keyframe it. So I will probably do that right now. Go to the first frame, press on correct the keyframe, correct the one, and turn around with it, and go basically frame by frame and move it so it is on the character. So. So now I'm done keyframing and what you're gonna do now is you're gonna uncheck this keyframe if you keyframed anything and drag the softness up quite a bit. So something like this I think will look good, you can always play around with this later, but go back and check it out. And yeah, I think that looks really good. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna basically make it fade in a bit. Basically if you have over the adjustment clip or oh, if the copy you should see two rectangle things in the corners. Take the one to the left and drag a bit to the right. So something like this. Go to adjust clip and do the same thing. So like this and it will basically just create a, a little fade in. But now it's basically just one last thing left to do. That's basically go to shot of impact again and from here you're gonna split every three frames to the left. So basically one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I think that is enough. And basically what you will do now is press on every other. So basically I will start with this, drag the opposite to about 50%, then jump over one and go to the other one, drag to 50 and basically do every second. So just try it like this and like this. That will basically create a little like, kind of flicker. That looks pretty clean. Now it's just the sound effect left to do. That's basically split the sound also every three frames. So basically just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And basically on the same frames where 
the picture is dark, so right there, drag the volume just down a bit. So kind of like this, then this down, and then this down. That will basically just create the sound flicker too, so that looks absolutely amazing. Now we'll just add the impact. Basically, we'll go to effect right and just we'll make it a start on the shot of impact. Or we we'll go to the fusion tab. Then in single try folder if all the other tags, basically just don't the preset called clean white shake flicker. Basically just drag and drop inside of here and connect it like this. That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider dropping a like, dropping a sub, comment to our ideas, and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!